I started in about 2000, 2001, because there was absolutely nothing in London that you could buy to compete with the French women on the beaches in Saint-Tropez. Anyway, I, my first um, sortie to India was very successful and I managed to bring in a whole lot of beach shoes made out of vintage saris, which was snapped up in the south of France and it all went from there. So you could pack just a nice sarong, a beautiful handmade kaftan, some lovely shoes, and you were away in a bikini, and that was it. And you could just put it in a small bag and you're off. Today, the collection has to be a lot more sophisticated than it was then. Um, I did have the market to myself rather because nobody really knew what beachwear was. It just, it just wasn't a word in the vocabulary. Um, but now things have moved on. All the big, big brands are doing it and it's very, very big business now. There's a trend more towards natural fibers and more towards what, yeah, what grows out of the ground and then you can create a textile out of, or silks, um, and bright colors, which is amazing. Uh, people are really enjoying that. And then, and then like art, artisan crafts. So there's also a lot of kind of weaves that I see that are coming out of Peru or out of, you know, lots of really nice embroideries. I mean, what we focus on is print, so for us, we kind of translate all of this into print. I mean, I think that the world is becoming a smaller place. I think travel is so commonplace right now and people are going to all corners of the earth also there's a lot, of, a lot of visibility in people's lifestyles with social media right now. So I think it's, people are very aware about what they're wearing, because not only is it gonna be around their immediate surroundings, but it's in their pictures, it's almost immortalized in what they wear. Ken Samudio is a, an ex-marine biologist and because of that um, a lot of his um, designs are influenced by the sea um, and he's included a new line of flora and fauna inspirations. Um, he's also a sustainable designer so he uses as much as, much as possible sustainable materials, recycled plastics, um, shells which are a byproduct of the food industry, all natural. Accessories play a very big part for the resort wear category. I think that um, nowadays resort wear is somewhat changing. People are um, sort of looking for that jet set um, sort of look and accessories is part of that.
This year we're seeing a lot more interesting one pieces. One pieces have obviously always been a really popular style, but now it's becoming a little bit more fun, a little bit more sexy. It's kind of the safe suit, but mums who are on holiday with their kids kind of want and uh, loving that style. But this time perhaps the leg is a little more cut away. There's more interesting details, lattice work, zips. came about really on the lack of any type of show in Europe serving this category, um, which is really a, a hugely growing category. The, we expect the, the word is that the um, industry will be worth about 28 billion by 2020. That's up from 21 billion back in 2014.